Charles Wilhelm has become known as one of the country's top trainers for both horses and people. His approach to training focuses on educating the horse owner alongside their equine partners so they can form a strong bond and achieve an amazing partnership. And uh, one of the things that we have to do in the ranch trail, besides going on the water or bridges, is to drag a log. Um, but first, before I go dragging a log, uh, I want to demonstrate how you can start uh, getting your horse comfortable uh, with a rope. Uh, make sure you do this first on the ground, you know, that you can uh, swing a rope uh, around the horse, over the horse, uh, uh, pat it down with, on the ground with the rope, round its legs, and then when you get on, uh, it's not such a scary deal. And the important thing, and a big tip is, if a horse gets scared, just drop the lariat, just give it away, you know. Most people, you know, they don't want to let go. Oh, I can get it through, I can get it through, and pretty soon they're off into the North County and there's a big wreck going on. So uh, just go ahead and drop, drop the rope and be safe. So now that I have the lariat, I'm just going to make sure uh, that I'm comfortable. You know, I can bring my lariat back here, uh, up here around his neck, and on both sides. Round his neck, sides, hind quarters. All right, then what we can do, and then we can start uh, bringing it loosely and start swinging it like this. I'll get this in front of the camera so you can see. You know, loosely swinging it like this, and then like this. Then around the top, around the front, around the back. And here again, anytime it gets edgy, just drop the rope. I mean, I can't tell you how many times. I've done these colt starting competition and I'm supposed to do this on it. And I played with the rope all the way around it, flipping the rope on around it. When I was on the ground, I got on, I picked up the lariat and it was a whole new deal. And I just let it go. And I went down, got it, picked it back up. And uh, it took me a couple times and, and it was okay with it, okay? now. When you're dragging something, uh, sometimes when you're dragging a log, you know, the, the cowboys always had to uh, fix something, drag something, but uh, I usually start teaching the horse to drag things by starting with the rope. And if you notice, I'm just making a nice circle and, and the rope is actually in the center. I'm kind of walking around it. It's, it's the least amount of pressure about what it amounts to and um, and then once I feel it's pretty comfortable with that then I can go straight when I go straight I put pressure on the horse and then I make a turn and take the pressure off okay go straight put pressure on and then turn right take the pressure off and here again if the you gets the horse gets spooky or edgy and you don't th you know I don't want you getting hurt just let the darn rope go, okay? And then what I'll do is once I, I go straight, I'll make a, a left, the hind, then the, the rope turns into the hindquarters, and I turn right and take the pressure off, okay? Now go straight. I'm gonna turn left. That puts the rope behind the hindquarters around the real legs and then turn right, take the pressure off, okay? And then go straight, turn left, and you're gonna to wanna to do this on, on both sides, and then I get all the way around, get all the way around, and then go straight and take the pressure off, okay? Now, once I have that established, um, Usually what I do, and I won't do it, because, uh, uh, but I'll start like with a light cone and put on the end of it, and then I'll graduate my way up to a bigger object. We hope you've enjoyed watching Charles Wilhelm's Ultimate Foundation Horsemanship. Remember, to find out more about Charles and to see how you can get the most out of your relationship with your horse, visit Charles online at charleswilhelm.com.